comment from the governor of the Homs province who spoke to us and says that Islamic State's now launched an offensive in that area following those U.S. airstrikes this morning. He also said that the terrorists have specifically targeted oil-rich areas near Palmyra. But so far, he says they're being held back. Now, a bit more about that Shariot Air Force base. It's nearly 45 kilometers southeast of the city of Homs. You can get a hands out on the map there. It's considered one of the most active bases in the country, equipped with two runways and around 40 uh, hardened aircraft hangars. It's also equipped with surface-to-air missiles, and the governor of Homs province says plays a crucial role in the fight against Islamic State in Syria. The Sherat airfield supports airstrikes against Islamic State. With its help, the Syrian army managed to liberate numerous areas near the city of Palmyra. The U.S. missile strike is an act of aggression against the Syrian Arab Republic, with the aim to weaken its ability to fight ISIL. This is direct support for terrorists in this region. According to all international regulations, this aggression should be condemned. At this time, the Syrian army is fighting against the terrorists, following them to the east of Palmyra. As we've heard from the governor of Homs' statement, the Syrian government and army are saying that this American attack has unwittingly benefited ISIS, which was recently pushed out of the ancient city of Palmyra, the mountains and gas fields surrounding it. Now, it wouldn't be the first time that American strikes on Syrian army positions have benefited ISIS. Last year, a massive American attack killed scores of Syrian army soldiers who were already besieged by ISIS forces in the eastern province of Deir ez-Zor. Back then, the Americans claimed that that attack on the Syrian army was uh, a mistake. Nevertheless, it enabled ISIS to make a hugely important gain and capture the strategic mountain uh, where the Syrian army were attacked by the Americans. And over the course of the Syrian conflict, the Americans have a steady track record of their involvement in the conflict, benefiting extremist groups. At the start of the conflict, the U.S. backed several factions that then went on to join extremist uh, al-Qaeda affiliated organizations and ISIS and of course the Pentagon even admitted that its flagship 500 million dollar train and equip uh, program uh, went on to result in the recruits to that program handing over US made weapons to al-Qaeda's affiliate in Syria then named Jabhat al-Nusra this latest attack comes at a time when the Syrian army is facing threats from extremists groups on multiple fronts. Just over the last couple of days, al-Qaeda's latest incarnation in Syria announced that it was launching a new offensive on the Syrian army in the Latakia province. So there is, of course, some concern uh, that any further American action will be capitalized on by extremist groups, as we're seeing by these reports of this ISIS offensive in the wake of this massive American attack on the Syrian army airbase in Homs.